Hey everyone, it's Rek here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to drastically lower input delay in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 5. We are going to be using different tools and methods to lower input delay and lower the latency in Fortnite so that we can get the best performance and also increase a bit of FPS. The end result with this video that I have in mind is that at the end of this video, you guys know how to use these tools and know what they exactly do. And I don't want to take more of you guys time with long intros, but guys, 90 one percent of you watching my videos are not even subscribed so make sure that you guys press the subscribe button and support me because you guys know that these videos take a lot of time and effort and research to make so yeah with all of that out of the way let's get this video started so starting off go down into the description of this video and download the Regnetic optimization pack you guys will need 7-zip or winrod to extract it so just go ahead and use either one of those and extract the pack once the pack is extracted, go ahead and open it up and right click on the MSI Utility V3 and run it as admin. What we are going to be doing here is setting all of the devices that support MSI to MSI mode. So for me, the high definition audio controller in the supported modes, it says MSI, therefore it does support MSI. So just go ahead and check the MSI box for NVIDIA graphics card, set this to MSI box as well. That's basically the only thing that I usually recommend, but you can go ahead and set other things such as the management engine or the gigabyte network if it support MSI. Just go ahead and select the MSI box, but usually the most important one is your graphics card. Just go ahead and set it to MSI mode if it does support MSI. And then for the interop priority, I have seen a lot of people using high and I have also used high in past, but judging from the results and seeing other people use undefined as well, that's what I recommend now and that's what you should should do and once you guys have set the interrupt priority to undefined set your graphics card and other devices to msi mode just go ahead and click on apply and then you can close out of this the next step that we are going to be doing is setting the full screen optimization for fortnite you can do this for any other game but we are going to be using the example of fortnite so i have this registry file which disables the full screen optimizations globally so inside of here what we are basically doing is turning on game mode turning off game bar and then turning off the game dvr as well we are also disabling the game dvr from policies and the capture app so yeah that's basically it you can go ahead and read it from here it's really simple and easy just double click on it hit yes and then hit ok it should successfully merge the registry and now the next step that you guys want to do is go into the drive which you guys have installed your game in my case fortnite inside of program files epic games fortnite fortnite game binaries win64 and search for the launcher in case of fortnite it's the first one with the highest file size just right click on it click on properties once again this method applies to any game that you want you can go ahead and copy this method then go into the compatibility tab and make sure that disable full screen optimizations is checked and also just in case that you guys want run this program as an administrator is checked as well change the high dpi settings override high dpi behavior set this to application hit ok hit apply and hit ok once again now you can close out of this and that's basically it for this video guys so those were all of the optimizations inside of this video and i really hope that this video helped you guys and you guys learned something new if you did then make sure to leave a like down below as it helps me out a lot more than you think and also guys once again 91 percent of you watching my videos are not even subscribed so make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button before you leave and if you guys will be picking up anything from the fortnite item shop then make sure to use code reknetic or use anyone else's code it really doesn't matter just make sure to support your favorite creator because making content is not easy stay safe guys and i guess i'll see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome